So we've just got a, a project, just our, our typical demonstration project, uh, kind of a, our old one that we've been using and, and a lot of people have been looking at uh, over the last few years now. Uh, this is our Keenland data set that PhotoScience provided us uh, a few years back now. So what I want to start with is uh, just kind of review how we get into TerraScan or how you traditionally get into TerraScan and interact with GEQ. So just very quickly go just to remind and, and show users, you know, typically you're going to go grab your, your tiles of working sets that you're saying, hey, I'm, I'm probably going to go in and do the classification or whatever I'm going to do, and I'm going to spend the day in doing this group of, of data. So I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to add them to my working set. And then that's going to bring up my checklist where I'm going to have my process and tariff scan step, which allows me to launch off. So I'm going to launch my entities into there, which is going to <clears throat> bring me into my microstation session, which is currently starting up here. So that nothing's really changed on this side other than we have fixed the image loading uh, in, in V8i so that the, any kind of your raster image layers that you've got available, um, they're able to, you're able to load those in directly into microstation. And so our microstation session will start up. And we should be seeing microstation session sitting on top of here now. And this is where we'd normally go in and you have to configure all your views to, to basically be set up so you can see what project you've got. So these are the blocks that I've launched out. And I just draw these boundaries in here. And then you can see where those are. So those are the, the same blocks that I selected over my, my over my GEQ session and you can see they've been locked out and have their read locks on their neighbors in this particular case here. So that's how we've typically gone in and then users are, are free to work within TerraScan as they normally are going and during this whole process GEQ has taken and is running and recording who's got this open, put the locking mechanisms on it and is recording the start time and will record an eventual end time. So nothing major there other than, like I said, the, the images now actually load and come into the right location uh, where we had some issues with that in the past. So we uh, close out of that and it asks the user, you know, where, where are things at? Did you complete what the case is? And you have the option in here to say, no, I, I only got, you know, 20% uh, of the way done um, and I'm going to suspend them and come back in later. And that marks my step and it records the, the history in here. So that's been the typical usage. Uh, that users have been doing. A lot of users are grabbing, you know, the number of blocks that they can use over the course of a day, and you know, that's recording that in large groups. And when you're doing that, you're seeing that you're getting a duration is a reflection of whatever number of blocks you've opened. So I've I've opened 14 blocks, and as a result, I was in each block for approximately six seconds because that was the time span that I had completely divided by the 14 blocks that I was in. 